You've probably learned how to round off numbers in previous grades, and rounding decimals is just about the same thing. There's just a couple of differences you have to be aware of. On the screen, you can see a number line from 0 to 100 divided into tens. And if you take a number like 42, which would go in here somewhere, 42, and I asked you to round it off to the nearest tenth, you would be able to see that, um, or to the nearest ten, you would be able to see that 42 was closer to 40 than to 50. And that's what rounding off is. You want to find the n number that it's closest to, the unit that it's closest to. So if you were to round off 47, 47 would be about right here, and it would be closer to 50. So 47 rounded to the nearest 10 would be 50, and 42 rounded to the nearest 10 would be 40. So it just depends where it falls on the number line. And this number line shows from 0 to 1 di divided into tenths. So here we have 4 tenths, or decimal 4, and here we have 5 tenths, or decimal 5. So now 0 decimal 4, 2 would fall right in here somewhere. So if you're going to find it to the nearest tenth, it would be decimal 4. So that's to one decimal place. Decimal 0, 4, 7 would be over here somewhere, so its closest tenth would be 0 decimal 5. So again, just look at the place on the number line where it falls and see which one it, it is closest to. So 0 decimal 4, 2 rounds to 0 decimal 4, 0 decimal 4, 7 rounds to decimal 5, so it goes up to the next one. If it's right in the middle, like 0 decimal 4, 5, then it just also goes up. So anywhere in the middle, and above goes up, below middle, below 0.5, it goes down to the previous tenth. Now taking that one step farther, here I've got a number line that ranges between 0 and 1 tenth. So I've divided it up and this would be hundredths because there would be a hundred of them in a, a hundred. And so now if I take a number like 0 decimal 0, 4, 7, Again, now I have to see where it would fall. And 0 decimal 4, 7 would be between 0 decimal 4 and 0 decimal 5, but it would be closer to 0 decimal 5. So you can see I take a look at this last digit, and then I adjust this up if this is greater than 5, or I leave it if it's less than 5. So if I have 0 decimal 4, 2, Again, that's going to be closer to this hundredth here, so to two decimal places that would be zero decimal zero four. So this one's going to round down to zero decimal four, this one's going to round up to zero decimal five. So if you had a number like this, zero decimal three two eight nine six, and you were asked to round it off to two decimal places, you really should start over here and and start rounding this way. So if I was going to uh, round um, this off, this is greater than five, so this number will go up to the next number, which not not. Uh, zero, but 90. So to round off, if I was going to round it off to four decimal places, I would round it off like that. If I was rounding it off to three decimal places, it would be exactly the same because this is less than five. And if I was going to round it off to two decimal places, I would look at this number. It's greater than five, so this has to go up. So this is actually closer to three decimal three three than it is to decimal 3, 2. So the 9 tells us that we need to go up to the next hundredth in this case. Okay, so look at the digits that come after and determine which, what, which would be closer to. Will it go up to the next hundredth or will it remain at the hundredth it's already at if it's less than 5?